Sessions with Sarah Schultz. Hi everyone, this is Sunday Sessions with Sarah Schultz and today the topic I want to talk about is actually um, conveyances. So um, I guess just from my side of the fence um, when it comes to real estate, uh, when the buyers and sellers are choosing who they're using for conveyances, just as a few things that I could say that I've seen and and heard and um, had happen that you know may be beneficial for you if you're um, ever selling or buying. So the first thing I I would say, in my opinion, I would recommend um, going for an actual conveyancer, not a solicitor. Um, well, the only reason is that in my experiences, the places, the, the buyers and sellers that have chosen solicitors, there's a couple of different things. So one thing I've noticed is that they um, have been charged a lot more. Obviously, their rates are very different because they're a solicitor, not just a conveyancer. Um, but the other thing I've noticed is they're very slow. Now, anyone out there who has a soliciting firm, I'm not having a go at you or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm sure you, you, there are ones out there that are great, but I'm just talking about ones that I've had dealt with and in general, like, to be honest, yet to date, I've not had a buyer or seller yet who has picked a soliciting firm that has responded and um, been approachable and available the same way as conveyances have. So that's just my experience. I'm not saying anything bad about solicitors, I'm just saying that's my experience. So that's why I'm recommending what I'm recommending is just based on my experience. And um, and also with conveyances, um, you know, it's like real estate and commissions. Cheaper does not mean better. Um, and cheaper on conveyancing doesn't mean, oh, you've saved all this money because sometimes you can get really caught out with that as well. And I've had a few where they've had something in the mail and the conveyancer has sent out something that's say, like $275 or um, plus GST and it, and it makes out like there's no other cost but then when they've gone into the contract they've ended up being charged and ended up paying you know upwards of $1,500 for something that if they had gone to a fixed rate conveyancer that may have been 500 to start off with that that would have been 500 period so I'm talking more of selling at the moment than I am of purchasing because purchasing prices are different obviously because you've got searches and stuff but yeah, I do think it's really important to really ask the question. I think the key things to really go for is someone, um, a conveyancing firm that has a fixed price. There's no other hidden costs of, other than obviously searches if you're a buyer. So usually they'll say we're this amount plus searches. That's that's fair and reasonable. But, you know, there are some out there that are charging every single email, every single phone call, like all sorts of, you know, weird and wonderful ways to charge. And, you know, things happen on, on contracts. And also, like, it, you need to be available. Like, I've got a few at the moment that I feel, like, really frustrated for the buyers and sellers because they've just picked, unfortunately, really hard to get a hold of and really slow conveyances. Like, um, you know, the ones that I recommend and the ones that I I use and, you know, recommend to my clients, if, if someone sends back an extension request, the extension response is within the same day and I've been called and asked, you know, what do I, what my thoughts are, you know, there's, in, there's, there's, um, appreciation for the real estate's role. They don't just do stuff without, you know, involving the real estate to talk to their client as well. Um, because we're out there in the field, we're actually talking to the buyer, for example, we know what's going on, if it's that, that kind of thing. Um, well, there's some that just don't, some that just um, give their advice off fact, which is fine, a fact is a fact, but they haven't actually asked for this particular circumstance. Every circumstance is unique. So I do appreciate um, the conveyances that do allow me to help. Like anything that I can do to take stress off buyers and sellers is what I'm here to do. So when I can, I will. Um, at the moment, I've emailed one solicitor, that's right, it was a solicitor that's doing it instead of a conveyancer. Um, I've emailed them three days in a row asking uh, a question uh, about finance because we've, the, the buyer has gotten finance approval. They sent it a week ago to him to go through to the sellers and nothing has come through. So I just sent an email asking, you know, have I just not been CC'd on the email or whatever, no response. The buyer themselves told me that they've called three days ago and they still haven't had a call back. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's a really long time and it's not really good service. Whereas, you know, the conveyances that I've used and the conveyances that 
uh, are mainly used on you know most of my contracts that that would never happen they that, you know it would be sorted that day um, and I would definitely get a reply email and they'll even allow me to call them and ask them questions if I need to on behalf of a of a seller or buyer if I want any um, advice that I could be passing on like that's great service and that's what should be available it should be available for the for the buyers and the sellers and you know really I only um, you know I wouldn't say get involved but I only try to get involved to help buyers and sellers with the stress or sometimes they don't actually know and sometimes conveyances will answer um, with the fact which is which is what they've got to do that's their job and then I've got to tell them what I know about whatever whatever it is from a real estate's point of view so anyway I just want to say that you know cheaper is not always better but then also going for a solicitor is not always better either if they don't do conveyancing all the time um, for houses because they um, they're not doing it all the time it's like anything something that you're doing all the time um, you're obviously uh, going to be better at and you're obviously going to have a better charge rate for it because it's your specialty you know so conveyances specialize in buying and selling properties so that's my Sunday session it might have been a bit boring I hope it's not boring but it's really really important I can't stress enough that you know what what sort of um, experience that you get from your selling your property or from purchasing a property the uh, amount of effect that a conveyancer can have on that as a positive or negative experience is actually quite a lot um, because even though people think they don't do a lot they actually do they do a fair bit they actually take the contract all the way through so you want someone who's nice you want someone who's um, got your back but is easy to actually approach and talk and someone that's gonna uh, you know allow um, information to be processed to you before decisions are made rather than only just facts so allowing real estates to you know give you what they think as well so yeah anyway hope everyone's well if you have any comments let me know um hopefully i'm assisting you guys here and there with all these um, sunday sessions that i'm giving so have a great sunday and i will see you next week bye for now